OpenBC. So that's the home page of that uh, very good um, website. The story about OpenBC is that a couple of years ago, um, you know, I'm very enthusiastic and passionate about networking. I thought that a couple of websites were missing some uh, good features, um, or that you know their not business model, but um, their um, their interface could be improved. So I started to investigate and to you know write things and to kind of create a business plan. And then one day, I researched the web and I found OpenBC. And then <laughs> I was a bit, you know, uh, uh, interested at the same time, not uh, upset, but um, I think they've done quite a good job. It's quite comprehensive, um, though there's a lot of, um, for instance, um, message management tools, so it's quite good. It's a good interface. They could easily um, sell that interface to corporates, for instance, so it's a bit different than a uh, LinkedIn, for instance. LinkedIn's interface or business model. So it's a good network. Uh, let me show you how it works, the home page. Um, first, that's where we are. You've got a couple of things. That's customizable to do. So uh, messages in your inbox, people who want to be part of your network, new members, contacts of your contacts, contacts birthday, events in your city, news about OpenBC, and tips from other members. You can customize everything here. Customize my info boxes. You can also invite people to OpenBC quite quickly here. That's, you know, how it is, but that's the main thing. You want to grow your network of contacts, and OpenBC uh, wants that as well. My contact page, that links, and that is linked as well to your profile. So um, I'll talk about that in a separate video as usual. Very important. My privacy settings. Let's talk about the search facility here. So it's quite comprehensive. There's a lot you can do. For instance, I'm going to put here my first name. Universities, other interest organizations, city, I would say in London. The thing here, I think it still misses uh, the fact that you can, uh, it's still missing the fact that you can browse um, using keywords uh, which appear in um, someone's profile, you know. So um, it's very good, but I think they could improve that. Um, you can, the good thing as well, you can do a power search here, okay, so it's people who uh, recently contacted you or visited your web page, these kind of things. This is available to Power Networker here, or my search agents. You can create searches, and then uh, on a regular basis, you can uh, um, receive notifications when uh, a, pers a new person or some new persons um, correspond to your research criteria. So Christophe London, okay. In all of OpenBC, you could search only with your languages. That's another different shares uh, with OpenBC. You can say that you you speak French, Spanish, German, Italian, uh, Chinese, whatever, and then you would have access to all those kind of persons and members, contacts only or contacts up to second degree. So very close contacts. Here I'm going to choose all of OpenBC. And you see that's very quick in terms of response. Then I've got quite a lot of Christophe in London, uh, quite a lot, there's uh, eight, and here I am. So here means there's no pictures, here there's a picture, that's me. So you could click here, and then you access um, what uh, is called the contact page, and that's, that reflects what's in your profile. So see, it's, uh, it's different from LinkedIn, for instance. It's more a bit more social. There's a picture. You can say more about you. You can put links okay, to other websites, uh, contact details. So um, about me. So here you could put more. Uh, and for instance, yeah, talk about you in details, put some HTML. So it's more dynamic, let's say. So it's in between purely uh, business networking and social networking. It's a very good compromise. So that was the search. I'll talk more about that um, in my profile um, this video. Contacts. Here, that's basically a couple of different uh, sections. Contacts to confirm. It's people who want to belong to your um, network. So you can decide to accept their requests or not. Confirmed contacts. This is the people who really belong to your network. You can browse and search them using a keyword, first name, last name, or you see that 
<coughs> it's uh, sorry the alphabetical order and confirmed contact it's people um, you'd like to be part of your network so you send some invitation but you're still um, waiting for a confirmation from the part and here you've got bookmarked persons when you browse uh, the network and you find interesting people but you still don't want to get in touch with them for various reasons you can bookmark their profile so it's quite uh, useful as well and here you've got as well you could put um, the reason why you bookmarked those persons then you've got the groups features uh, groups it's quite dynamic it's another different share in OpenBC to some extent that they give some uh, facilities to manage groups and events okay to uh, display those events to communicate and to invite people who registered so it's, um, it's a smart platform and here you can browse the groups for instance by categories this is some of the categories alumni sciences open bc jobs and careers and then you browse and you find the right group and you register to the group and then you can be part of it and you, of course it's a good opportunity to network with people who share the same interest for instance and it's quite comprehensive in terms of possibilities then you've got events here's some id you can create an event being a power networker um, easy to do you can invite people whether part of your network uh, in OpenBC or other people other members uh, or people who are not members yet and you've got a good facility and uh, there's good features in terms of um, how to spread the word how to notify uh, attendees so that's uh, an excellent tool to uh, manage your events then this is uh, my profile so then I click here but I insist on that uh, in a separate video then you get downloads basically downloads it's the software uh, provided by OpenBC like a plugin to uh, upload your contacts from Outlook for instance okay or a specific module dedicated for Firefox um, to search uh, some fields and uh, to find members OpenBC members then you can log out and there's, there's the help section